so far to Harbor Wolf. Like it or not, for the moment, the Earth is where we make our sand. Sometime last week, during our weekly pub chat, myself and others on a channel called the I Network were trolling our way through Nathan's resurrected Facebook cult. We were laughing at the memes, and then we came across a series of videos in which Nathan claimed that he had worked with Harvard students to prove the flat earth. Let's take a look at some of our initial thoughts. I, there's another video in the comments. If you click view more, one more comment, there's two videos <laughs> for it. Yeah. And I'd be quite amused. I want to know what the fuck is going on there. <laughs> yeah, what did Harvard do that proved the flat earth? Where am I looking? If, uh, go back up. Go back up. Right. Yeah, Stop right there, that. that one. Hit view one more comment. Um, this video, because it's, I can't believe these globe tiles from Harvard proved it's flat. Everything. Wow. Everyone has had some water. Everyone's had everything. Is that guy a bird? You're asking him a fourth time, Blake. <laughs> uh, you're asking him again? Yeah, I just asked him. Uh, I said, are you still getting the same findings? How many times so far have they said it's flat already? Uh, like three? He said... Maybe four. Yeah, what? Dude, it's so stupid because we like, you can ca like you can calculate the percent errors and see. Well, he's dressed as a banana, and that's how you can tell this is a serious scientific endeavor. <laughs> <laughs> and, and by the way, just because you have a quote finding unquote doesn't mean it's not disputable. That's the whole point of science, right? I mean, it's, well, that's, it's, that's it's, just it. Flat earthers want science to take five minutes and not 50 years. Right. Is it possible he's dressed as a chicken? Somebody said that in the chat. Look at that thing on the top. Yeah, I think, uh, I think he is. I think he's a yeah, chicken. chicken nah, that's not helping. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it is. Uh, yeah. Is it weird that I took him more seriously when I thought he was when I thought it was a banana? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's not. I mean, it's not. No, I, I agree. I totally agree. It'll send out ripples, uh, not just to the flat Earth community, but to the globe Earth community too. That these two gentlemen actually went out, tested it, drove across the country, got results that they weren't even happy with. This isn't what they predicted would happen. This isn't what they wanted to happen. But that's science. You know, science doesn't care about anyone's feelings. <laughs> so where's the full video? Uh, even someone in the chat in the um the comments but where is the full video why i don't know why only post these two little clips that say yeah so we, we know it works this oh these people got results they didn't like as you can see we were skeptical of this right from the off and it turns out we were right to be nathan got punked someone named reckless ben i believe he's one of the guys in the chicken suit set up this whole thing in order to fool Nathan into believing Harvard students had helped improve the flat earth. Let's take a look at some of the footage. For the flat earth community, what is this? Here, Nathan, what if you answer? How, how is this going to um, affect the flat earth community and the society? What does this mean? You know, it, it'll send out ripples, uh, not just to the flat earth community, but to the globe earth community too, that these two gentlemen actually went out, tested it, drove across the country, got results that they weren't even happy with. This isn't what they predicted would happen. This isn't what they wanted to happen, but that's science. You know, science doesn't care about anyone's feelings. It's empirical, it's repeatable, and it's observable. And that's what we did here today. So I want to give you guys props, dude. Congratulations, you got an oh, amazing setup. I'm sorry you didn't get the results that you wanted. We were expecting, guys, the signal to come from underneath if the Earth was a globe. The signal came from the North or came laterally. So basically the antithesis of what we expected to happen. Here is what this is for. You want to explain it on the globe. Or maybe the Harvard student. Are you guys on? Are you we, brought, we brought this because we were going to, this was going to be our proof of the findings. We were going to, I don't know, I was just looking forward to like looking you in the face and being like, this is real. Yeah. And now it's like, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. There's more tests to be done now, right? Yeah. You know? And so I wasn't convinced after my first observation. Repeatable. Science is repeatable. So we should be able to do this every day from any location on Earth and get the same results, or it's not science. So. 
it's definitely not a globe from the conclusion we got. Um, like, it literally can't be, just because, like, it's, it's in the range enough where it can't be a globe, if that makes sense. So, uh, to answer your first question, we put a magnet on this side, put a magnet on this side. Instead of getting a signal through the Earth, it was almost like it was a flat Earth, and we got the signal north. And uh, no signal came up from underneath. Wow. How do you all of our, about this? All of our two and a half years of findings, we were using a globe model to do a smaller scale, and every time it came up north to south. So it was always, it would always point south. So we always, our findings were always a globe. But today, doing it on the actual, the actual globe, 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 we have found. Doing it on the actual globe, we found that it was pointing north. It was linear. And that's it's moving lateral. Lateral. How are you? How do you feel? See, I'm confused. I'm definitely confused because I mean, I never expected this. We've tested this dozens of times with the smartest people we know in yeah. labs at our school, and we never expected this. We're just confused. So. Nathan, you the, even though they're yeah. from Harvard, I would consider you the expert on this topic now. Uh, do you have any advice to give? Uh, keep it up. Can I get one last line, maybe, from you guys? Because now that I see you looking at flat Earth, what was this outro, Nathan? Oh, make sure you guys keep it flat. Keep it flat. Is that what we're all going to do? <laughs> I think we should all do it. Flat. All right, cool. Guys, keep it flat. Keep it flat. Keep it flat, I guess. Let's keep it flat. I hope you'll take me back. I... We have the same beliefs now, so, yeah. Woo! Yes! <laughs> Not every day you break a world record. Congratulations, boys. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you. Congrats. I didn't really care that all these big drama YouTubers were mad at us. What I cared about was there was a line. We crossed that line when we became friends with all these YouTubers. These guys thought they were helping us as their friends. And friends don't trick other friends. Or maybe sometimes they do. So let's explain a couple things. First of all, why the chicken suits? Well, apparently, Ben and his friends told Nathan that they wore those because they were out of hazmat suits. And Nathan believed him. In fact, the more you look into it, the more you realize Ben and his crew were waving red flags all over the place that Nathan should have caught on to, but he didn't. And now, the word has come around back to Nathan that this was all a giant goof, and, you guessed it, he had another meltdown. I love to see Nathan cry, so let's get ourselves some popcorn and get cozy, shall we? Discord so loud, uh, the security guard came up and he's like, yo, can you keep it down? I'm like, sorry, I'm, I'm just on the phone. <laughs> that was funny. Yo, bro, I almost got kicked out of yet another place because I'm an obnoxious asshole. Isn't that hilarious? Yeah, freaking hysterical, Nathan. Also, remember how he was making fun of Aaron Ra for, God forbid, drinking during their debate? Glass houses, Nathan. But, so, a lot of people, dude. A lot of people talking about what happened this week. I just wanted to go live and answer any questions you guys have or whatever, dude. Jaren, um, was sticking up for you, dude, just to let you know. Dude, he's crying about how I got pranked the whole time. He wasn't even there. He doesn't know for sure. He was saying stupid shit like, Nathan didn't even see the test. So. Well, to be fair, I've yet to see any evidence that Nathan did see the test, and we do in fact know for sure that you were pranked. We saw all the red flags that you failed to see. It's so whatever, dude, you know? Yeah, he's got to freaking, he's got to coddle his sheep, you know? I don't... 
either they lied to me or they didn't. And either way, it's funny as hell, in my opinion. Yeah, I can see how funny you think it is with that giant bottle of Cope in front of your face, Nathan. They, they have nothing. They have nothing. The Globers have nothing. They're so boring and redundant. So either people figured out it's flat, which happens all the time, or they lied to me, which happens all the time. <laughs> you know, you ever had a girlfriend? <laughs> Oof, that's some incel vibes right there. I checked. Harvard confirmed those guys were legit. Really? Mahatma, you said you checked. Harvard confirmed they're legit. Can you please email me that data or anything? I would love to see that. Oh my God. Did you see the hope in his eyes? One of his viewers trolled him and he instantly took the bait. Nathan's blinders are the size of fucking houses. Because like either Jeb lied to me and paid thousands of dollars for all this stuff and those guys didn't go to Harvard or like they actually did. I think they did. Those guys were very intelligent. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, my sides hurt. See, it took me a while, but I figured out what happened. Remember I mentioned Nathan having blinders on? I wasn't kidding. He's so very obsessed with his search for the truth that he saw at the end of this tunnel a tiny chance to prove the flat earth. And he was so focused on that tiny light down there that he ignored all of the red flags being thrown in his face. And we'll see more of those soon. Nerdy very freaking, not actor, prankster, prankster, YouTube, stupid trolls. Like nerdy, nerdy smart. Or maybe acting smart? Like an actor who does pranks on YouTube that would require him to be able to act like he is something that he is not? Did you know I either got two Harvard students to the flat earth community or i got trolled super freaking hard by everyone this entire weekend oh i thought it was hilarious nathan what happened buddy looking a little glum there and uh, right now i'm 50 50 i don't know everyone's super convinced that i got trolled i can't imagine why super convinced I don't know. I'm not sure. Of course, I hope I wasn't, but like, I don't care if I was. They allegedly debunked their own model, went around Venice Boulevard telling everyone Earth's flat, and reunited with his flat Earth girlfriend. Like, how'd you get trolled? Okay, well, the. Jeb Cardi, the CEO of Zumbly, FaceTimed me and said, hey, I want you to come talk to some Harvard students. They think the earth is round. They kept saying round. And I said, sure, no problem. I'll come out and talk to them. I show up and they're like, oh, we're doing a test. We're going to build a magnet. <laughs> so many clues, Nathan. Guinness World Records coming. <laughs> I knew I was going to start crying. I thought about wearing my sunglasses. Oh yes, please cry some more, Nathan. Your tears sustain me. I consume your sadness like a black forest cake. But why the tears, Nathan? Is it not hilarious anymore? Are you just angry at yourself for falling for it yet again? I'm not super worried about anything. Like, nothing. I'm not. I'm just... Convincing us or yourself, Nathan. And here's what's crazy. I'll show you my phone. I want to show you guys the email. So they sent me the itinerary for Thursday when they did the magnet test, right? Um, Kyle. 
So, Flat Earth episode, and day one schedule. Nathan, please be ready in the lobby. Your driver's name is Amino. Here's his phone number. If you brought any Flat Earth clothing, please wear it. And then it says, If you brought any Flat Earth clothing, please wear it. I wonder why they'd want you to do that, Nathan. I wonder. What does it say right there, guys? 12 o'clock, camera ready in Malibu. 12 to 3 p.m. Ben and Blake present evidence for a round earth. That never happened. Because they were pranking you. You're surprised? Do you think that's some kind of win for you? Are you now going to complain that your stripper didn't give you a ride home? So from day one, the first hour of filming, everything I was planning on happening didn't happen. Yeah, that'll happen when you're being pranked, bro. I'd much rather be on the floor with Geo or on my hoverboard or on my skateboard. Man, I miss freaking Geo, dude. Oh, speaking of Geo, I recently heard that you feed your dog a vegan diet, Nathan. I don't know if you know this, but that's really bad for dogs. While not obligate carnivores like cats are, dogs' bodies are specifically designed to break down meat-based proteins. They really struggle with vegan diets, and it can really hurt them. Hashtag save Nathan's dog. Especially with everything going on right now, I just wish I could hang out with my dog. Geo knows I'm not a show. <laughs> oh, of course he does. He's delirious. Feed that poor pupper a steak. Stuff like this, why people quit flat earth, dude. You know? That's why people quit, dude. Well, here's hoping, Nathan. I tell every flat earther that if they quit their cult beliefs and return to reality, they will be welcomed with open arms. This applies to you as well, Nathan. I might have to chide you a bit for all the bullshit in your past, but if you pass the initiation, you can join the club. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. If you want to support me further, consider becoming a member or a patron or checking out my merch or my Amazon links. Thank you, and I will see you over the curve, Space Cowboys. In a fast cosmic arena. Imagine self-importance, the delusion that we have some...